Heartland Season 18 Episode 3 was a phenomenal classic Heartland episode that started with various characters doubting themselves and having problems. But in the end, they all realized that they needed to have faith and hope both in themselves and in each other, and everything would be okay. That doesn't mean certain storylines were not anxiety-inducing, like Jack almost being forced to sell their cattle due to water shortage, and especially Tim going through a difficult health issue, having blurry vision and collapsing on the floor. Let's see what happened in the third installment of the new Heartland season. Before I go into the episode's details, I want to help every one of you who's asking me how and when can I watch Heartland if I'm not living in Canada? Well, the answer lies with PureVPN. By using this highly in-demand service, you can easily access restricted content no matter where you are in the world. Do you want to watch Heartland Season 18 without having to wait for months? You can log into PureVPN and unlock the episode whenever you want. The first step you should take is to subscribe to PureVPN and then log in to connect to a server in Canada and start streaming Heartland Season 18 on CBC. It's that easy. Don't worry, PureVPN also ensures that it will safeguard your digital identity. I'll put the link to PureVPN's website in the description box and the comments below. You can click on the link and it will take you directly to the right address. After that very useful piece of information, it's time to discuss the first major storyline of the episode, the water problem. We already knew that the drought would be one of the biggest issues the Heartland family faced this season. Throughout the episode, Jack and Tim lamented about the amount of water left in their wells and even that ran dry in the middle of the episode. They needed a solution and they found it in trying to dig a new well, but they were never sure about the location. Two attempts ended up being unsuccessful, only causing Jack and Tim more money than they could afford. They realized that if they couldn't find any water, they would have to sell their cattle. At this point, Jack used a divining rod. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is something I've heard of for the first time. I had no idea something like this existed, so watching Jack turn a random twig into this thing that would potentially help him find water underground was the most interesting part of the episode. I was just like Katie who also never heard of a divining rod before and did her research. I stopped the episode and found out what it was as well. Apparently it has been around for centuries and the people who use these types of forked branches to find water are called water witches. That's bonus info for you. Have you guys ever heard of divining rods? Do tell me in the comments. I'm really curious. Anyway, Jack used a divining rod and ended up finding signals, let's say, on the land they have been leasing from Nathan Price. Since Nathan was also facing the same water problem, he said he would be okay with sharing the costs if there was really water in that area. The drill guy came in to try again, the whole family washed with anxiety, they were about to give up, but the main lesson of the episode was about trusting your gut and having faith in your instincts, and that's what Jack did. They continued to drill underground and eventually found water. It was truly a happy Heartland ending. This storyline cleared up a few things about Nathan, as I suspected in my video on the second episode. Nathan and Jack especially ended the enmity between them and came together to face the water problem. It was nice learning that Nathan had not told Garland Foos to drop Heartland beef. He didn't even want exclusivity from the company, so it was revealed that it wasn't Nathan's intention to be Heartland's rival, and he proved that he wanted to work with them by offering to share the costs of the new well. This new relationship brought Amy closer to Nathan, while everyone was celebrating the new water source, Amy hugged Nathan after learning that their ranches would now be tied together. I'm kind of glad that we learned about Nathan's true side, but there's still so much he needs to tell Amy about himself. Otherwise, this unnamed thing between them will never work out. I know most of you don't like Nathan because you really don't want a new man in Amy's life, but I say we give him a chance, no? In line with the episode's main theme, Lisa was also having doubts about herself and her business decisions. She was being interviewed by a magazine editor who asked her about retirement. Lisa was shocked and so was I because as far as we know, Lisa doesn't want to retire. That's what Lisa said as well, but apparently there were rumors about her possibly getting retired. This was a minor issue though. The biggest problem arose when the journalist said something about a new horse Lisa had just bought, which led Lisa to doubt her intuition. 
Apparently, this horse's sire was genetically more inclined to have injuries, but Lisa didn't know anything about that. She didn't choose horses after doing blood tests on them. She looked at them and trusted her knowledge and instincts. But during the interview, she felt old school, like she was feeling ashamed for not using new methods in her business. She even left the interview. But in the end, she revealed to Jack that her horse actually won her first maiden race, which meant that her intuitions about the horse were correct. She gave the interview a second chance and everything concluded in the best way possible. Overall, I liked this storyline, firstly because it was good to see Lisa back after her absence in the first two episodes, and also because I always love to see that even a person like Lisa, who has much experience in her field, doubts herself sometimes and yet manages to find faith again. It's a good message for all of us. And let's talk about Tim. He scared us all throughout the episode with his blurry vision and collapse. At first, while talking to Jessica, he was in a bad mood. Nothing new for Tim, nothing alarming so far. Then he talked about a headache. That was normal as well. The guy works too hard. But then when he was dropping Katie off at Maggie's, he had a bad moment where as he got out of the car, he had blurry vision and lost his balance. He made Katie not tell anyone, especially Jessica, because he didn't want anyone to worry over anything, despite the fact that what he experienced was pretty concerning. And it happened again. This time, while he was in the barn tending to the horses, he collapsed on the barn floor. The blurry vision happened again. Thankfully, Katie told Jessica about Tim's problem and Jessica was able to find him as he was trying to get up after his incident. Jessica asked him to go to the hospital, but it turned out Tim was quite scared because he thought it would be something like CTE, something that has no treatment. But he was convinced and went to an appointment. Do you want to know what happened? Well, apparently, his blurry vision was the result of eye strain due to too much screen time and also the stress he was under for the last few days. So the doctor prescribed him reading glasses. Nothing too serious. Thanks Heartland for scaring the hell out of us. I mean, I know some of you don't like Tim that much, but still, I'm sure you guys don't want him dead, right? I hope so. By the way, don't forget what I told you about PureVPN. Their service is quite fast and easy to use and is the best way to watch Heartland as quickly as possible. Anyway, did you like this episode? And if you want to see what the Heartland cast has been up to recently, you should check out this video.